Hey everybody, happy New Year's Eve. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little video. I was thinking about this. Um, I would shared my new meal plan with some of my um, Insanity uh, students as well as um, on Facebook my followers and everybody to just show this is what my new meal plan is. Every time I start a new program, I always want to share one so you everyone get a heads up because sometimes going through the nutrition plan, nutrition guide can be overwhelming when it's something brand new and you're not really sure how to combine everything. So this time around, I actually dropped myself down to a lower bracket. Uh, usually I do the higher bracket that gets you probably between um, like 1700 calories or whatnot. Um, I did that mainly before, I mean I was heavier before, so I, I, I met the weight requirement of being over 150 pounds, but then also knowing that I work out a lot of times double, twice a day. So I do my own personal workout and push to my max as well as teaching an insanity class. Where I still don't, I don't go all the way to my max, but I'm still having to go full out and show my students exactly how in the end it's supposed to look like, as well as motivating and just moving around, you know, just being active and the energy and, and you know, being able to push it out to, and have it um, be contagious with everybody else. It uses a lot of energy. So, um, but I've sort of been hitting a little bit of a plateau, so I wanted to sort of shock my system I guess and so I put myself down to the first bracket the lower bracket of like I think it's around 1400 calories but also depending on the day depending how I feel if I'm starting to feel a little weak or a little shaky or whatnot then I will obviously allow myself to have like an extra snack or or something that so I I don't um, <clears throat> I don't do more damage to myself but before all beach body and everything, I always I would have never even gotten up to 1400 calories, let alone 17 or 1800 calories, and I was working out, you know, 1 2 hours a day. Um I was always either I was probably at a thousand, maybe even under sometimes. It was not a lot of food. I was working out and killing myself. But pretty much, I was in that starvation mode, and I um, and my coach the other day had a really great little um, comment that um, you are. Oh, hold on, sorry, I want to get it really perfect. You're eating your muscles and not fat, so you might see that yourself is getting skinnier or the um, the scale is getting less, but you're really not losing the fat that you want. You're losing. You're just killing and eating weight. Your muscles. Um, I know another thing that uh, Sagi Kalev always says is um, to remember, you know, three things is that when you're working out, you're tearing your muscles, but that you need to feed your muscles by obviously eating the kitchen with your food. And then you need rest in that and you build your muscles and repair them in bed. So those are the three things that I just really found uh, key and that just sparked something in my head, you know, to start the new year is that you need to change the idea of food that it is for fuel it's not always going to be fun it's not always going to be something that you want to eat um sorry for some reason my son wants a marshmallow so he gets one here you go um so yes food is fuel abs are made in the kitchen you know your muscles are fed in the kitchen to keep you going do you need rest? Absolutely. Rest is how you repair your body and build the muscles to get stronger and then also to show the tone. So you also just need to you know, have fun with it as well. Find that program that you love that every day you're willing to get up and press play. Even on the days where you're like, oh, like today it's rainy and sort of crappy, um, but I'm still going to press play because I'm excited to see how I can do better each and every time. So I hope you all have a great and safe New Year's Eve, an amazing start to the new year, 2015, um, and I will talk to you all next year. Bye, guys.